because I work with primarily 19th century material, I always like to bring in a fresh response to that. We know what the scholarly responses often are to the 19th century material, and I work with scholars every day, but artists view things in an entirely different way, and I think they can open up windows and doors that we don't necessarily bring to the material. When I started thinking about how I wanted Barrett to be involved in this exhibition, everything that I came up with seemed very stilted, seemed very um, antiquarian, and Barrett isn't an antiquarian. He works in antiquarian processes, but he makes contemporary art. So for me then, that made me start thinking about how we could involve him in a way showing what he does in the field using the 19th century processes, but in a way that's very contemporary and fresh. What I'd really hoped would come out of the movie with Barrett in it was to give people a sense of really the poetry of making photography. It's a very conscious process. It's a very thoughtful process. It's something that demands a lot of time and attention you have to think very carefully and consciously about what you're going to be taking, what, what image you're going to make. And in this day and age, I think that's a bit counterintuitive. I, I just don't think people un quite understand what goes into making a 19th century photograph. And Barrett is such a, a conscious and present person that I wanted that sensibility to come through in the film and I think it does. It's not a how-to and there are plenty of how-tos out there and I, I feel like people that want to know how to make that kind of imagery can find it and I wanted to provide something very different.